Hey, Chris, welcome back to the show. It's so good to be back. Happy to talk about some more interesting topics with you, Brian. And I and I know everyone's been waiting for this one, cyber insurance, right? And it's <laughs> it's something that's been around forever. But, and every once in a while, it, t- it gets a little bit more kind of umph behind it, but nothing like the last couple of years. It really seems like it's it's kind of coming to their own. Everyone's aware of it. Aware of it. Uh, you see organizations investing. Uh, so to kick things off, w- when it comes to cyber insurance and you've got all these regulatory uh, compliance mandates, you've got all these security mandates, what role does that asset intelligence and awareness play for cyber insurance um you know short answer and pivotal role a critical role uh and let's let's dig into that so so you know one of the one of the pieces of um one of the things that we think about when it comes to all these compliance regulations these mandates that businesses have to comply with as well as of course their cyber insurance policies which really you have no choice but to play the game with because you need it, you have to have it, right? It's kind of like compliance. You have to do your taxes, et cetera. Cyber insurance is a big priority. So um, where does asset intelligence fill, uh, fit into this? Really, it provides a pivotal or a pivotal amount of enrichment and enforceable data. And evidence-based enforceable data is key. And it provides that at the intersection of where regulatory compliance and cyber insurance meet. And this is an area where uh, me as a former auditor, I would live a lot within that zone. Um, and it, it was it was of the utmost importance when I'm assessing a system in order to understand the full uh, you know spectrum of an organization from a risk perspective yeah. right at that juncture because you're dealing with, you know, as an auditor, sometimes you're dealing with both the cyber insurance company and the compliance requirements. So really asset intelligence really helps organizations stay compliant with the regular regulatory standards. I mean, that's what it's core facility is doing because it's meeting all these security controls. Um, But insurers, cyber insurance, more and more so nowadays, will often consider uh, these these security controls as well as how compliant an organization is with those cybersecurity frameworks when they start to offer and tailor their cyber insurance policies. So the two go hand in hand. Yeah. And and that makes sense. You know, cyber insurance from the uh, the business's perspective, and of course, from the cyber insurance company's perspective. So let's actually, let's bifurcate it. Let's look at those two groups. We'll, we'll take businesses uh, to start with. But if I'm a business and I hold a, a cyber insurance policy, what's the benefit to me uh, for, you know, of, of having visibility for my enterprise asset security and for compliance? What What's the benefit to me doing that as it relates to cyber insurance? Well, the, the, the biggest overarching factor or benefit for you as a business is risk reduction. Mm. Um, and risk is, that's a huge discipline, especially in the audit world, in the compliance world, because understanding regulatory risk is one of the best things that you can, the, the best pieces of data that you can have when you're dealing with cyber insurance. So first of all, uh, insurers are going to appreciate policyholders or businesses, you as a business, who understand the risk, but also work to reduce their risk. And that automatically translates almost one-to-one to to cheaper insurance policies. Because if you can tell them, it's just like your car insurance. If you can tell your insurer that, hey, I live in a, a neighborhood that's out in the middle of nowhere and my nearest neighbor is 50 miles from me. Well, your chances of getting in an accident are way lower and you understand that and you've given that insurance provider the proof so they can say okay well we can we can you can pay next to nothing for your premiums and the same goes for that risk reduction perspective uh, as it from a business perspective um and the, the the facility that asset intelligence gives you uh is is worth dollars and cents yeah the other the other, th- the other big piece is faster identification of gaps hmm. and that's that's pertaining to a very important step in the risk reduction chain that compliance auditors will assess businesses under, and that's vulnerability identification and mitigation. So if you have that valuable evidence-based data that you can get with asset intelligence, 
you're taking a very proactive approach to risk management. And again, insurance will often favor you and that, that, that will lead to more uh, favorable insurance terms as well, right? Like how, how long you can be insured for. Uh, th there's a lot of other factors to an insurance policy not, uh, rather than um, aside from just the cost. There's also the terms associated with that and that will help you tremendously. Yeah, that's a great analogy you used about car insurance. And, you know, I'm thinking, you know, it, it, it's evidence-based or it's proof when you're talking to your car insurance provider. It's, you know, do you have a long line of speeding tickets? Are you riding, are you driving a old, unreliable vehicles that might have faulty brakes? You know, do right. you, like you said, do you live out in the middle of nowhere? Um, so I think that's very intuitive, but let, let's put on the cyber insurance company hat now. Um, through that lens of asset intelligence. And when they're looking at enterprise security or, you know, compliance, are, are they looking at reports? Are they doing reviews? Kind of how is asset intelligence helping them in reviewing an organization when they look at the account or they're issuing a policy? Well, you know, um, the data is a big piece for the insurance provider. So I mentioned that evidence-based data. So you, you're you able to, to give your insurance provider this unequivocal proof that is irrefutable uh, on, on the data that, that's on your profile, et cetera. So um, this is tremendous evidence for underwriting for in a terms of, of what an, a cyber insurance provider is doing. That data collected and observed is a wealth of, of data on the business's security practices. And you it's irrefutable. You can't argue with that when they give you data to say, here's, for example, here's a, a, a brief view of my entire enterprise. Here are all my gaps that have been covered, mitigated, remediated, everything is solid. You can't argue with that. So automatically that's gonna lead to more competitive insurance terms uh, from your insurance provider. You know, it also helps the insurance provider as well because it makes them more competitive because they're able to perhaps give a certain company a lower rate because they understand their security posture so well. Yeah. So it actually helps in, in a multitude of ways for the insurance providers. Uh, and, and again, that also relates down, it branches down into the customization of the policies for those insurance providers because they're able to better tailor coverage that aligns with the business's unique, uh, unique needs and the risks as well. Because again, if they have that solid understanding or that visibility of their security controls across their enterprise, and they have that evidence-based data or irrefutable proof, well, then they can customize the policies and they have more flexibility as well to offer more unique policies to those businesses. And then again, it's a great asset for the insurer, but it's also great for the business as well. Because again, you have that, uh, uh, that business now because they've been transparent with their cybersecurity risk and they've exposed that, provided that proof. Well, then they're, they're going to win as well. So it's lower, lower risk for the insurance provider. It's lower risk for the business and then uh, a pricing advantage on both uh, ends of the spectrum. Yeah, that that's huge. It's it's an operational and financial advantage for the enterprise and the cyber insurance company. So win win. Yeah. You know, asset intelligence to your point is foundational and and gives you the evidence, the proof you need to make the decisions, uh, the right decisions, and probably make them more rapidly and certainly in a more informed perspective. So awesome. Hey, Chris, thanks so much. This was a great conversation about cyber insurance. I appreciate sure. it. My pleasure. Thanks.